Hey, at the end with me, Shubham from Blendfile, and this is the node concept. And we are almost done with the shaders, and only some miscellaneous nodes are left. Uh, they, are, uh, they are the ambient occlusion, the velvet, and tune shader. And today we will be discussing the ambient occlusion node. So yeah, let's begin. So, uh, ambient occlusion is actually you know, darkening of uh, acute edges which are there on your object surface uh, because of lighting or you know collection of dust. Uh, I'm talking about you know in practical nature. So, uh, in Blender, I can show you it with this simple trick. I'll just bring this somewhere there, and yeah, we press. N, and then you can see over here in the shading tab uh, you click on this ambient occlusion and now you can see there's the small darkening of edges so you know this is uh, acute angle well it's not actually uh, it's not uh, acute angle it's a right angle but every angle smaller than 90 degree you can see there is a, a you know ambient occlusion over there but greater than 90 you will see a uh, less amount of ambient occlusion and that's that thing I was telling and you don't need to focus upon here you can just play around with these it's not affecting your materials in any way so here's the thing okay and uh, now into the node editor mm, okay so in Verna there is a node ambient occlusion which does the same thing ambient occlusion and if you zoom in out here you'll see some occlusion happening over here and if I just change it to simple diffuse then it's not visible because there is no occlusion happening which happens in ambient occlusion and it has got well only one property the color which gives a color to the mesh and it also occludes so that's like using a diffuse of red color having some ambient occlusion and that's basically it for ambient occlusion node you can mix it with some other nodes to get a better result you can mix it with some other nodes to get a better result and there are also other ways for ambient occlusion like in the world settings and in the compositor so what this node is useful for is actually to get ambient occlusion only on some specific objects because the world and compositor they can apply ambient occlusion to every object in your scene so if you want only one object or two objects to have ambient occlusion you want this node so ambient occlusion people usually try to use it as a factor in mixing some shaders or multiplying something which cannot be used currently because it gives a shader output so that's a bad thing so what people usually do is bake their ambient occlusion image which we'll discuss later on and some people like Greg Zal have also posted to the blender.org website to actually make a ambient occlusion output as a FAC value which can be used to mix nodes but currently we'll have to do with baking only which we'll discuss later okay so uh, basically that's it for the ambient occlusion node and uh, yeah it's not very useful node currently as you know, it cannot be used as a factor as Shivam said and uh, yeah uh, the next two nodes will be the velvet and the tune shader those are also oh, not that big used nodes so yeah mm. you can follow us on facebook at facebook.com slash blendfile and i hope you learned something from this video and if you have some suggestion or query do drop it in the comment section and subscribe to stay tuned and uh, yeah we hope to see you in our next video bye